last time in Widget Lab. We tried to make plastic and it didn't work. But this time we have a new puller and it's amazing and wonderful and we're going to make plastic. Today we are going to finally make filament. I've designed a new puller as promised in the last video. As you can see, it's sort of the same setup as the scrap metal puller I made. I can turn it around so you can see it better. Uh, the only difference is I've used these aluminium profiles to lift the wheel onto it. And it used these sort of bearing wheels to move it up uh, and down. Uh, next to it, I have changed the gearing. Uh, the wheels are going to rotate a bit slower in the beginning speeds because last time it immediately had quite a high speed. So uh, for this experiment, you want to sort of slowly begin and speed it up as you go. Yeah, so I can sort of test it and you can see how it works. Um, I have to plug it in first. Always forget to plug things in. Oh. So as you can see, it still makes a bit of, well, quite a lot of sound. For the extruder, we also did some small modifications. Uh, I've made a new hopper uh, because the last time I was constantly putting plastic in and it was too small. Okay, great construction. We can turn on the machine. Uh, it should be this button. And we should slowly get some plastic out of the machine. Ah! Crap. <clears throat> well, this happens sometimes. Seems sturdy enough. Oh, having a small mental breakdown. Please don't break. Why is this moving? Fuck's sake. So, um, I'm a dumbass because I wired the motor the wrong way around. So it was pulling the plastic which was still inside the machine back and forcing these huge lumps of plastic to form here and push off the hopper. So uh, I changed the rotation of the motor and plastic should flow out and we can continue. All right, so now we get some plastic out of the machine. Um, crap, this problem again. <sighs> Let's hope this works. <laughs> For sake. Um, okay, yes, I thought it was my answer. <laughs> so after a few trial and errors, again, uh, we are finally working in the extruder side. So let's start this one up. And The good thing of this machine is I can increase the height and sort of ah hot. Oh, that's not good. Nope. Crap. Needs to be right here. Nope. What the? I really hate this. I really, really hate this. And let's see what's going on here. Should start this also. And Alignment of this. Ah, oh, I did it again.
Oh no! So here we are, two weeks later. Um, I thrown away my previous motor in the bag of stuff I'm never going to touch again. I've now built a completely new cooler for the third or fourth time. Yeah, so I wasn't happy with the motor. The BLDC motor, the speed was too high in the beginning. I had this gearbox, which just wasn't aligned. It's much too much mechanical stuff. So I was just thinking, I'm going to use a stepper motor. The positive thing about the stepper motor is I can control it at lower speeds. It's more precise. You don't have the bloody gears. And I just control it with this uh, stepper driver, which is controlled with an Arduino. So I should align this and um, plug in the socket. I always forget these small things. And as you can see, the noise is much better ish, and it's much easier to control. So let me turn on the motor. Oh crap. Yeah, yeah, we have a problem. The weld broke. Oh, fuck. I spot welded a screw. Great construction. <laughs> I really should learn a bit more about mechanical engineering. So it needs to be re-welded on here. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so uh, I fixed the small motor problem, and uh, I'm 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 just going to turn the machine on. We're going to see what's going to happen. And something's coming out! Yay! Oh, and then I need to turn this on, which I forgot. This needs to go a bit. Oh. Okay, now I have a problem. I need to have my other... Oh, wait. Oh. Why is it... For oh, sake. And there we go! As you can see, we finally made filament! Oh my god! Oh, right, so it finally works. Holy shit, um, very happy. After uh, everything, after everything. <laughs> so now we are going to uh, see what the thickness is, adjust the speed, and hopefully get some interesting results. If. Hmm? Oh, crap. Oh, this is. Thanks for the warning. This can be a technical problem. This is a technical problem. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So we have a small problem here also. The cable is too wide for the background. Good first test run. Yeah, it worked. We made filament. We made this amount. Um, I'm very happy with it. There are, of course, some problems with the machine pulling it out. It had sometimes these, these sort of molted, it all melts together because it's still molten when it's pulled out of the, of the machine. But that's not a problem because we can just build like this cooling bath where it goes through and then it should be fine. So the other problem is we have this white color of the cable and a white screen, so we don't measure the contrast very well. So thickness is difficult to measure. Um, so these two things I'm going to work on in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.